What's up, guys? This is Justin. I'm here with Mitch. Hello. And Mitch, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Yes. Because it is Steam Summer Sale. Yes. Yes. So prepare your diddly holes and your wallets, everybody. <laughs> my diddly hole? <laughs> I'm just kidding. A What's happening to my oh. diddly hole? I'm sorry, McCaffrey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Our office is deeply confused and staring at us. What's on sale? Don't Let's judge me. Oh, man. Um, so here's the deal with the Steam Summer yeah. Sale. is uh, You can save a tremendous amount of dough on great PC games. Pretty much every PC game on Steam is yeah. on sale in some way. But why don't we talk a little bit about how, if you're new to the Steam sales, how yes. this works, how you need to like navigate these tremendous savings. Yeah, so if this is Baby's first Steam sale, on the main page, you have what is on sale today. Right. So this is the big stuff that's on sale today, the big games that are going to be These are daily today. deals. You can see when they expire. Yes. How much time you have to do them. So today, for example, Bioshock Infinite is on sale for 30 bucks. But that doesn't mean this is the only time it will be on sale, nor does it guarantee this is the cheapest it will be during the sale. Well, it does if it's the daily deal. Really? And that's actually... Okay, that's, so there's a system in place. There's that's the big that thing that understand. people need to take away. Like, let's say you're like, oh, man, I saw IGN do silly videos about Surgeon Simulator, yes. and it's 40% off for 6 bucks. I'm going to buy it. This is just a game that's on sale. There's a chance that later on during the summer sale, it could be the daily deal and Correct. be 75% yes. off or be even cheaper. So if you see something on this front page as a daily deal or that's as a the flash cheapest sale, it gets. that's the cheapest it's going to be. Ah, I'm learning things. And so it's the same with Borderlands. You're like, man, Borderlands 2 for 20 bucks, that's a great deal. This is almost guaranteed to be a daily deal for sure. you know, $15 or yeah. at least. So there's two ways to think about it. If it's a daily deal, buy it. If it's a game that you don't mind, you know, look, I want to play this today. Yep. I don't mind if it's going to be, you know, three bucks cheaper yep. later in the week. Go ahead and buy it. For anything else, if you want to save as absolutely as much money as possible, what you should do is wait till the last day of the Steam sale. Yeah, the last day is when it all comes together. When well, it's like everything is the cheapest, they bring back all of the biggest stuff that was on sale. Right. So that's what they've been doing lately. There's no guarantee that they'll bring back all the all the cheapest stuff. It might be an indie day on the final day. Yeah, but the reason you wait till the last day is because then you know it's not going to be a daily deal. Yes. So it's not like you're not going to buy something for twenty bucks and have it be ten the next yeah. day when it's a daily deal. Even then, it's not a huge deal if you miss out on like. Uh, Yep. Sale because I bought Civ Five a couple years ago because it was on sale for like half off, yep. and the next day it was on sale, and I, I only missed out on like five bucks, which is like whatever. I got Civ Five for super cheap. Exactly. Um, another thing you need to know about Steam sales is that oftentimes you'll save even more money on bundles. What I'm not seeing, they might be buried somewhere, but they they looks like they took away the very popular publisher bundles. Indeed, it used to be like yes. you can get every id software game for ninety bucks or every Telltale games for forty bucks. That's typically I'm, in the winter sale. I don't actually know if that was mm, in the summer sale. Yeah, you might be right, but you. They do still have bundles. Like, let's say you had no Assassin's Creed games. Even on sale, these are still 94 bucks. But if you get them all in a bundle, they're 84 bucks. Yeah. And you can see, like, on a game store page, like, if you're on Assassin's Creed 1, if it's a part of a bundle and what that bundle costs. So yeah. it's, like, savings on top of savings. So if you would decide, like, oh, I had never played Chaos Theory and you want to play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, you might say, hey, also, there is a Splinter Cell bundle right now. You yep. can get all of them. Uh, Mitch... What's yes, the sir. deal with these trading cards? I'm still learning about trading cards. I was in the beta, and I got my first one the other day playing oh Counter-Strike Go. As uh, if Steam wasn't addictive enough. Right, um, and now they're gaming the system, because before they would have badges, <laughs> right? You would get a badge for buying certain things and unlocking certain items in a game. And, and now, now you get cards that can get be, cards. be combined into a badge. You get XP so, and levels. It's insane. Oh so here's God. how this works. For every $10 that you spend in the summer sale, you get a trading card. Um, you know, if you can't or you refuse to spend money, there are some other ways to get cards. You can vote on what you want the next Flash sale yes. to be. I see you also voted Far Cry. I did. Well so played. if you vote enough times, that also earns you some cards. And there's some ways to earn them without spending money. Yes. Also, you can obviously trade for them because they are trading cards. Yes. And once you get all the trading cards, there's 10 to collect total. And when you get them all, then you get a badge. And then that oh badge God. earns you. I'm not exactly sure what it earns you. It earns you bragging rights, and I think it earns you some chat mode. Yeah, and, and like long term, I think the idea is that the XP and stuff is something you can use in exchange for items or objects. Yeah, or like you can get game workshop coupons stuff. and things yeah. like that. Uh, the last big tip, Mitch, is that if you've been maintaining a you know, sort of robust Steam profile like I have, if there's any game that I'm like, that looks interesting, I don't want to buy it today, yeah. I slap it onto my wish list, then you can just see at a glance on your wish list, you can sort by Man. price, for example. And, uh, oh, Storm in a keep Teacup. Oh, yeah, can't it's, wait for that game. 74, 74 cents. cents. But it's 85% off. Today would be the day. Yeah, today would be You're the day. You're probably not going to get much cheaper than that. 
Uh, don't judge me for Secret of the Magic Crystal I'm not. being on my Steam wish list. It's a dollar twenty-four. So your wish can come true it. today for a dollar twenty-four. Um, and so I maintain a really robust Steam wish list. It's got one hundred and thirty some games on it, and so I usually wait till Steam sales and try to get that back down to mm. you know a more respectable number. So what do we think about today's games, Mitch? So Bioshock Infinite, obviously an amazing game. Thirty bucks, cheapest it's going to get. Can't recommend it enough. Yep, um, I think a lot of people probably already own it. If that's the case, you can still take advantage of uh, the season pass is also on sale. Oh wow, awesome. Um, oh well, maybe it's not. Hmm. So oh, you know what? It I was on it sale. So they put it up on sale for ten bucks and then immediately changed it. There it was, was some weird stuff. Pulled the trigger too early, maybe. So oh well, that's a bummer. But still, it if is. you don't have Bioshock Infinite, thirty bucks is probably the cheapest I've seen it. And the um, season pass may go on sale later in the week. That's so a good. So keep point. an eye out for that. Antichamber is an incredible puzzle Great. game where I don't remember what score Anthony Gallegos gave it. He gave it a lot. Uh, um but we really, really liked it. It got very positive critical reviews. A lot of people complained about twenty bucks, which I take issue with that. Like, I do on, too. Support your game developers, yeah. but if you refuse to buy it for twenty bucks, and that's your prerogative, buy you know, it for six seventy nine. Yep, and it is a do daily it. deal. Other than that, obviously, Hotline Miami is incredible, is ridiculous, and it's got cards. Um, Left 4 Dead Two, I, I've seen this for cheaper. Yeah. So, but if you want to play it now, like yep. if you for whatever reason have missed out on Left 4 Dead Two, it's incredible. And Scribble Knots for five bucks. I love that game. And I actually like Don't Starve a lot. Don't Starve is awesome. So Defiance I, is pretty much the only one on this list that I would recommend against. Yeah, Defiance and Calafares. Calafares um, is super fun. Yeah. Gunslinger is like surprisingly but it's also, good. I mean, look, this and for is for 10 bucks. I'm not necessarily talking just about the quality of these games. I'm also talking about the quality of the sales. Yes. And I think 33% off. This is how You like, can do better. This is how um, you know, we've become very spoiled. Yes. Where it's like, oh, it's only a third off. It's only $10. Um, Man. also Dragon Age is the snap Love deal that for game three hours. to pieces. Counter-Strike Go, I reviewed that, gave it an 8. Game is awesome. Five bucks. Look, I'm going to go ahead and say, if you only buy one of these, make it Hotline, Hotline Miami. Miami. Game of the Year nominee, 250 Um, But all the games we talked about, you know, that we spotlighted are easily worth your yes. time and money. Um, Keep an eye out for a lot of stuff, too. Like, Far Cry 3 is what Justin and I both voted for for the next sale. If that's a flash sale, like, do not miss out. Yep. Far Cry 3 for 24 bucks would be ridiculous. All so, of those games for cheap would so be ridiculous. So, to recap, you know, if you want to buy something because you're going to play it right now, go ahead and buy it. Yep. Otherwise, wait for the daily deal. Yes. Um, check your wish list. Yep, and check your wish list and uh, look for packages, look for bundles. Yes. So um, this has been a little bit of an overview of what's going on with the Steam Daily Sale. Um, I hope your wallets are ready, everybody. Oh, my let's, God. Let's sign off with... Oh, we miss you, Anthony. We miss you, and we love you. For more on Steam sales and PC games and Anthony Gallegos, keep it locked to IGN.